Okay, so uh, that was Electricity in Life by Leo Buscaglia, who was not the prosecutor for the Charlie yeah, Manson a, thing. Is a totally different person. Could well have been. Um, okay, so his quote here. Would you agree with this quote? He's, um, Leo says that before man can love all men or any man, his first responsibility in love and always will be to himself. Wow. Who's wrote that? Is that a yeah, man? Yeah, Leo wrote that. Yeah. That's, what do you think of that that's, statement? That's trash as well, I guess. Is it trash? Yeah. Well, but it's true, though. You were just saying you got to take, take a step back from yeah, being a stalker. Yeah, but that's not the same as being uh, selfish, is it? Interesting. Yeah. So you think that's bogus to love yourself first? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, that's good. Okay, and now this finally. Is this, cool? is this helping you or me? I don't know. It's it's. I I I need a lot of help. Well, this album is kind of like a twelve-step program because like you're going through like you're going through like heartbreak, total chaos, and then anger and all this stuff, and then the song before the last cool waves is all about like unconditional love finally through all that crap you are able to go okay you know what you have to do what you have to do if you have to leave me i love you da 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 do you know what i mean so is that a place that you found yourself at just sort of going okay that was nice and and i keep you special in my heart but if you have to go and live you must do that uh i guess something like that with a lot of people i don't i don't uh, have much malice for anybody i don't sort of like um uh, I'm not big on revenge or anything like that, so it's cool, it's whatever people want to do, you know, at the end of the day it's your life and it's your, um, uh, you know, it's like you reading these books, it seems like you're living your life for somebody else, you're kind of living, living like, uh, you know, you're concerned about, you've got to be more concerned about yourself, I guess, and be like, let people live and let live, I guess. Yeah, I know, it's true. Is, I think that makes sense. Well, it's a tenuous balance between like being to completely horrified and scared and then realizing that the only grip that you have on life is like somebody else's love for you. Have you ever f felt that way? Like, oh my God, okay, now I feel okay because I know that they love me, so therefore I'm okay? No. No. <laughs> You're a mess. Of course. You, you didn't write this song from your own experience. You're a mess. <laughs> Hi, I'm a mess. Good luck. Good luck. What's your advice for me, Jason? Uh, Prozac. Oh, no way. Yeah. I'm taking St. John's wort right now. That's like an herbal thing for like a... But it just makes me feel like dumb and like mm, sort of zoned out. Well, Prozac? Are you seriously... Do you think Prozac is yeah, good? Yeah, No, you get, that, you, get, you get that shaking thing. Yeah. Know. yeah. Take a holiday. <laughs> See the world. Take a holiday, yeah. Get out of here. Or jump. No. That's awful advice. Okay, um, Jason, do you have a, 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 a video request? Well, I've been told. Yeah. <laughs> I've been told I have. Uh, yeah. MC5, I don't know which track you're going to play. Okay, MC5. It is for Jason. Thank you very much for, for the, the lame advice. The lame love advice and good luck to all the love lord out there. It'll be okay.